Hey guys, I wanted to share with you my at-home tanning routine using St. Tropez and Loving Tan. I always start with exfoliating my skin in the shower. I really like to use the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. It smells so good and it's just really good at removing all of those dead skin cells. Lastly, I finish up in the shower by shaving. So I have everything right here that we're gonna need. I have the St. Tropez Self Tan Express. This is the one to three hour one. I have the Loving Tan um, Bronzing Mousse in Ultra Dark. I have my Palmer's Cocoa Butter that I use to moisturize beforehand. And then I just have my face lotion that I also use to moisturize my face before I apply the tanners. And then I have my little um, flat angled brush for my hands and my feet and my face. And then I have my Saint Tropez application mitt. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit of the CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. You can use any um, facial moisturizing lotion. I'm just gonna apply it um, to my face and my neck. Next, I'm gonna take my Palmer's Cocoa Butter Lotion. This is a pretty thick lotion. It's really good for dry skin. I'm gonna apply this to um, the back of my hands, my wrists, my elbows, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my knees and my ankles and my feet. So I'm just gonna take a couple of pumps onto my hand, just like that much, and just kind of slowly, gently pat it on the elbows, my hands, my wrists. I don't wanna overdo it, but I definitely wanna make sure it's coated enough. So I just kind of take a little bit, because the last thing you want is for the tanner to cling to those dry areas. And I'm gonna take what's left and apply it to my knees, my ankles, and my feet. So now that we're all moisturized and prepped, we can move on to applying the self-tanner. Another thing that I like to do is put on a pair of disposable gloves. Sometimes a product will seep through this mitt and it will get on your hands. And if you don't wash it right away, it's going to stain. So I like to just put gloves on like this, just as a precaution so that it doesn't seep through. So we're gonna be taking the Saint Tropez and the Loving Tan and we're gonna be mixing them together. I'm gonna show you how I do that. In my last video when I did um, a review of the Saint Tropez versus the Loving Tan, I just wanted to kind of show you guys exactly how I do it and hopefully that will help because there were a lot of questions um, so hopefully this will help to clear some things up. So I typically like to start from my arms and my chest and I like to work down and then I do my face and then my hands and my feet last. So that's the last thing that I do because I like to use the brush for that. What I typically do is I do the majority of it in the Saint Tropez. So if I do two pumps of the Saint Tropez, I'll do one pump of the Loving Tan. And I find that this gives me the best color. And I will also say that by adding in the Loving Tan, it definitely gives you a deeper tan. And I think that it lasts longer than the Saint Tropez does. But there's also some things that I really love about the Saint Tropez that the Loving Tan doesn't have. So that's why I like to mix the two of them together. All right, so I'm gonna give it a good shake and I'm gonna apply a couple of pumps to the mitt here of the Saint Tropez, just like this. And then I'm gonna apply one pump of the Loving Tan. And once it's on there, I kind of just like do that to kind of mix it together. And then I'm gonna start rubbing it in. So what I do is I kind of like gently dab it on here and here and I avoid my elbows and the inner sides of my arms at first. And I kind of just like briskly rub it in just like you would be applying the lotion, just like this. And then really don't go down your wrists until the end because that's where the color will kind of stick. And I like to get under my arms too and just kind of really blend that color in. So the key to this is to just keep blending, keep blending so that you have no streaks. So moving on to the other arm, same thing, two pumps of the Saint Tropez, one pump of the Loving Tan, Kind of just squish it in there and do the same thing. Just pat it on here, like just like this, and then just briskly rub it in. And what I do is I pat it into my armpit area after. So again, just really blend it in. 
continue to rub it in. Moving on to my chest area, I'm gonna do one pump of each. So just kind of like pat it on here. And just start like really blending. And then I kind of blend it into my shoulders. I'll go around the back of my shoulders a little bit and just really blend that in. Make sure it kind of blends in with your arm there. And obviously, normally I would do this without clothes on, but for the sake of the video, I just wanted to show you um, as best as I can how I do it. Once it's kind of blended in this area, then I'll take it up my neck and kind of into my ears, just kind of like pat my ears, go around the back of your neck. Just make sure it gets really blended in there. So here's how we're looking so far. You can tell that there is clearly a difference between where I put the tanner and where I did it. So I'm gonna move on to doing my back. Typically, I can do this good enough by myself, but sometimes I will have like my husband or someone else kind of get in like the harder to reach area. But I feel like I've gotten pretty good at being able to do it by myself. But again, for the back, what I'll do is I'll just do one pump of the Saint Tropez and then one pump of the Loving Tan. And then I'll just kind of start on each side like this. And then I'll just start like really blending it in. Everything seems to be blending really nicely. I'm gonna move on to my stomach and my lower back and my hip area. Just so you can see a comparison of the difference. Here's my stomach without the tanner on and here's the tanner. So there's quite a bit of a difference. So for my stomach area, I'll typically do like two pumps of the Saint Tropez and then um, one pump of the Loving Tan. Now moving on to my legs, a couple of pumps of the Saint Tropez, a pump of the Loving Tan, mush it together and same with my arms, I start kind of vigorously rubbing and I avoid like the knees and the ankle area. And then once I get everything kind of blended in and rubbed in, then I will go over those areas last because there's just less of a chance of the product kind of clinging. And you always want to make sure that you're like looking in a mirror and that you're in good lighting because sometimes the legs can give me like a little bit of an issue with streaking, um, especially with the Loving Tan. So I always like to kind of go over it with an extra coat of the Saint Tropez just because I find that it doesn't streak as much. And the color guide is just very easy and it just shows you that everything has been blended in and it shows you like if there's any missing spots. So I moved on to my left leg and I did the same exact thing. Just really concentrated on rubbing it in and blending it in to the shin and calf area and then to the thigh and the upper thigh. And then lastly, I'll go back and I will go over my knees and the back of my knees and then a little bit down towards my ankles. Just a quick tip, if you ever get into a situation where you apply the tanner and you can see that it's starting to bunch up in your wrist area or it's looking really dark and dirty or around your elbow area, see like I have a little bit going on right here. You can always take, which I did, is a baby wipe and kind of just blend it in or you can take some of your lotion and kind of blend it in. Um, and it's pretty easy to correct. Or you can just take what's left of the mitt and kind of go over it. Just kind of give it a quick blend. Now both of these recommend that you wait like 60 seconds before dressing due to like product transfer. Um, I would not recommend doing the self tan, having it on your hands and then going and doing dishes or doing laundry. If you have to do that and you're applying yourself tanner during the day like I am right now, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and you put on a pair of gloves like these, just something to kind of protect that tan because you really want it to sink in. If you get your hands wet before the allowed time of the DHA, really getting into your skin and kind of staining it and darkening it, it's going to defeat the purpose. So that's what I like to do. And I will typically not get dressed for like five to 10 minutes. Then normally I'll just like pop a robe on and just kind of putz around because I don't want to go ahead and, and get dressed. I don't like to feel sticky and I find 
find that you really need to wait like at least five to ten minutes so that it can kind of allow for that stickiness to go away. So moving on to the last step of my self tanning routine. What I do is I will put pumps directly onto the mitt now when I go in and use the brush. So I like to do my face first and I'll even blend it into my neck just to make sure it's really seamless. And then I will do my ankles and my feet. And then lastly, I will do the back of my hands and make sure everything is nice and blended into my forearm. So I like to just take a little bit at a time. I'll just take like a little bit of this and a little bit of the Loving Tan and I will go ahead with my flat angled brush and kind of just pop it in. And, and you wanna be really careful, especially doing it on your face. You don't wanna go in with a heavy hand. You don't wanna apply it to around your mouth and around your eyebrows and on your eyes first, cause it will catch there and it will look like you have a mustache. So what I do is I typically just do like a little bit onto my forehead like this. And then I will start to kind of really blend that out into my hairline, gently blending it like around the brow area and in between the brow. I'll go back in with no additional product and kind of just pat it on there again. And I will start with the cheek area around my nose and onto the other cheek. And I will just do the same thing and really, really blend it in. And what I do is I kind of like just pat it around the eye area, like just Tap it, like pat it. You don't want to really push it in there because you don't want the color to look super dark. And then I just go and I blend it into my ear, down, just like you're putting on foundation really into your neckline, into your chin. Take a little bit more, do this side. And then lastly, I will kind of gently pat it over my upper lip and around my nose. Then I'll just go in one last time and kind of blend everything in together. For the most part, when you put your makeup on, you can match your face to the rest of your body if your face is looking a little bit pale. I do find that obviously you tend to, you know, wash and scrub your face more with harsher products than you would your body. So the tan is just not gonna last as long on the face as it does for the rest of the body. So that's why I don't even go crazy because I know that when I put on makeup, a little bit of bronzer, everything is going to blend in perfectly. And one last thing, as I had mentioned in my other video, which I will link down below, which kind of goes over everything, the pros and the cons about both of the products. So if you haven't watched that, I would highly recommend you watching that video first before this one. So I will link that down below. But I would definitely test these products on your face first before just going in with them. Um, I am not sensitive to them, but you may be. So I would definitely recommend testing out the product first on your face and make sure that it doesn't make you break out or give you any other type of reaction. Okay, so moving on to my ankles and my feet, I do the same thing. I take one little pump of Saint Tropez, one little pump of Loving Tan, and I just gently pat the brush. I'm gonna go in to the main part of my foot first and just kind of dab it on there like so, and then start to blend. And I blend very gently around the back of my Achilles, into the bottom of my foot, into my ankle, around the back of my other side of my foot, and into my ankle area just very gently because this area is really really going to catch product and then lastly i'll just kind of go over my toes so last up is my hand i'm just going to take another little pump here of the saint tropez a pump of the loving tan this is probably way too much but it's kind of late now and I'm just gonna kind of dab it on there like this and start scrubbing it in. And what I'll do is I'll kind of do like a claw hand like this and just really very quickly just glaze over it. Turn my hand a little bit, straighten them out, same thing. Just like that. Lastly, I'll go into the wrist just make sure everything is nice and blended and then gently just kind of brush around the back of the wrist. 
can do the same thing on the other hand. Do the claw hand first. Quickly rub that in and straighten my hand out. It's always easy for me to blend my other hand. Because my left hand is very shaky. So I'm just gonna quickly rub that in, make sure it's nice and blended around my wrist area, and then just kind of make sure this area is nice and blended. Now my hands do feel a little bit sticky right now, so I'm gonna give them a couple minutes to dry. I'm gonna show you full body how I look right now. Probably end up waiting like six hours and then I'll shower it off and then I can show you how it looks after I shower once the tan is nice and developed. So here's how I'm looking right now after I've applied the tan. So I just wanted to do a quick check-in. As you can see, the color is really starting to develop. My face looks a little bit orange, but most of that I feel like is the color guide. There's how my arms are looking. So it's been like five hours now since I've had the tanner on. I'm definitely like looking kind of orangey in certain areas. I think most of it will kind of just wash off in the shower. So yeah, so here's how I'm looking now. And I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then I'll show you how it looks once I kind of just rinse off the color guide. And I just wanna mention that when I do shower to wash off the tan, I don't scrub my skin and I won't use really hot water. I'll just kind of use like lukewarm, like borderline cold water and just kind of let it rinse off. Um, the hot water and the soap will definitely obviously make your tan come off quicker. So I'll check in once I've showered and I'll show you guys the results. I just got out of the shower. Now what I do is I take my towel and I just kind of pat my skin dry, just like this. Um, you don't wanna like rub, so I'll just kind of gently pat my skin dry. Next thing I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of like a body butter on. This is the Sol de Janeiro. Um, bum bum cream this scent is fantastic and it's just such a good moisturizer and I find that this scent does a really good job in like masking any of that additional um, DHA scent that you're gonna get from your tan still developing so I just kind of like, rub this in all over my body and it keeps the tan lasting a lot longer I wanted to do a quick check-in here's how I am looking so far, I think that the tan is gonna continue to develop, but as you can see, it gives like a really nice natural looking tan. So I'm gonna do one more check-in probably in the morning and just see if the color deepened even more. So it is now the next day. I had my brother's wedding today. So I've been outside in the sun all day long. I wanted to film this this morning, but I didn't get a chance. I just wanted to show you guys a quick um, check-in of how the tan came out and how it looks. I left the tanner on to develop for like five hours or so yesterday. Normally I really like to do it at night and then just kind of sleep with it. I think it gives a really nice natural looking color. If you didn't see my first video where I go over Saint Tropez and Loving Tan and kind of compare the two, I'm gonna link that down below so you can check it out. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope it kind of showed you how I go through the process of mixing the two and applying my tan. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.